Hello and welcome to another monthly devlog. I'm Jake with Lost Style and today we're going over February 2024's devlog. We'll just jump right in. This one is called Missives and Musings, More Than Just Friends. What's new? Factions. The survivors found on the Lost Isle are truly a hardy folk. Regardless of their occupation or station in life, they've endured countless trials of devastating loss and have come out the other side stronger for it. These people are the faction NPCs you'll encounter during your adventures. Gaining reputation with factions is not necessarily a groundbreaking mechanic, but how exactly this system will work in an open world multiplayer survival game like Lost Isle is worth diving into. NPCs will spawn all throughout the world. Some will spawn statically in certain locations, and others will travel along the roads, but their functionality will more or less be the same. Each NPC will belong to a faction. Completing quests offered by the NPC and or gifting them appropriate resources will increase your reputation with their respective faction and unlock increasingly useful tiered perks. An important note is that all interactions with NPCs are completely optional. Lost Style is designed to be played pretty much any way you like, ignoring them altogether if that's your preference. You will, as a baseline, be able to craft the survival necessities, and maybe you'll get lucky and find powerful items in loot containers scattered all over the island. However, some of the perks might be too enticing to pass up. For example, below is a screenshot of the Forge Masters Guild, whose specialty is blacksmithing. Increasing your reputation with that specific faction will unlock the ability to craft advanced tools, weapons, and armor. If the idea of making your own top tier weapons and armor sounds appealing to you as a player, then interacting with NPCs of that faction will be well worth your while. All right, so this here is a screenshot that I just took of the, of the UI panel uh, within the game where the factions reside. So this is currently what it looks like. You can see it says the Forge Masters Guild, uh, and, and they're responsible for blacksmithing. Uh, so basically, all things blacksmithing, you would want to raise your reputation with the Forge Masters Guild if that's what you're interested in. Uh, and I won't dive in, I won't, you know, read this and go into all the details because I'm actually going to pull up in the game the, the entire UI panel and you'll see there's a list of eight um, existing factions here and, and I'll show them all and kind of read uh, their overview and, and what they do. Uh, but that's kind of what it looks like in the game. If you're playing solo, you might become a jack of all trades, master of all. Or if you're playing together with trusted player allies, you might go with a divide and conquer strategy each raising reputations with different factions and coming together to collectively share the unique unlocked perks. So what this means is, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you, Lost Style is designed to play pretty much any way that you want to, right? So uh, if you're the first one of your friend group uh, that, is, you know, that gets into Lost Style and you haven't met anyone in the game yet, you're just all alone, it's totally possible for you within, and it's easily doable within the duration of like a, of a, of like a server reset to get to the top tier reputation with with all of the factions. So if you wanted to do that, you totally could. And you could do all the things yourself and 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 that's up to you if you want to. Or the alternative to that would be that you you jump into the game together with your friends. Or maybe you you started solo and you met some people in the game, you became allies with them, you became friends, you made a base together, you trust each other, whatever. So the alternative to you know, a solo version of that would be that um, you, you divide up the tasks. So maybe you say, hey, I really enjoy mining and blacksmithing, so, so that's going to be my job, uh, you know, for our base, for our alliance. How about you go do, you work on cooking or you work on uh, mounts or combat or magic or whatever, you know. So, so depending on how many people you had in your alliance, you could all divide up the different factions and raise the and raise the reputation that way, get the top tier, and then you could all kind of share in the, the divide and conquer strategy. So however you'd like to do it, you can do it both ways. Uh, and so instead of reading um, these eight different uh, factions, I'm actually just going to jump into the game like I mentioned and show you the UI panel. All right, this is the faction panel in the main UI. So as I mentioned, there are eight different factions currently. You can see them all here. And I'll just go one by one and kind of read their overview and, and what you can do with them. So here's the Builders Alliance, and their specialty is construction. So it says, from the carpenter's intricate woodwork to the stonemason's majestic structures, members collaborate to uphold the highest standards of craftsmanship in construction and architecture. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock advanced building techniques. It mentioned in the devlog earlier that, you know, you start out with a baseline of building necessity. So without getting any reputation with the Builders Alliance faction, for example, you'd be able to build like a wooden base, you know, a fully complete wooden base. What might be locked behind um, some of the some of the perks 
you know, our advanced construction techniques like making it stronger, uh, building locks, things like that. So, so making your structure just more sound and better and, and safer and easier to defend from invaders. Okay, so the earthen core and their specialty is mining. It says, hardworking miners and prospectors devoted to expertise and innovation in the extraction of Earth's vast resources of metals and gemstones. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock advanced mining techniques and geode opening. So again, I'm just going to repeat it one more time before, uh, and then I'm just going to blast through the rest of these. Um, but again, when when you join a server fresh, you without earning any reputation with the earthen core mining faction, you will be able to mine ore, for example. So you don't need to have, you don't need to raise your reputation with with this faction to be able to to start mining right away. In okay, order of the Watchmen. So this is like the the melee and ranged combat faction. So think like swords and axes and bows and arrows and stuff like that. Uh, an oathbound force of honorable soldiers whose sole purpose and duty is that of protecting and defending the citizens of the Lost Isle from all threats. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock advanced combat techniques and capabilities. All right, arcane assembly, magic spells and enchantments, also like alchemy, so like potions and things like that. So this is like the magical combat side of things. A loosely bound collective of wise mortal wizards who have dedicated their lives to understanding and thereby harnessing the powerful energies that emanate from Mauros' underground cosmic tomb and permeate through the island itself. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock the use of magic spells and enchantments, as well as the crafting of alchemical potions and magical weapons. Alright, we'll go back over here. Forge Master's Guild, I kind of already got into this, but we'll go into it again. So that, yeah, it's just blacksmithing. So dedicated to the discipline of blacksmithing, members of this faction develop the skills of refining and smelting ores and the forging and shaping of metals. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock the ability to craft advanced tools, weapons, and armor. The Epicurean League, the cooking faction. A prestigious association of cooking enthusiasts and food artisans dedicated to the pursuit of culinary excellence. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock the ability to cook advanced food consumables. The Nomadic Circle, Mounts and Relics. Preferring a nomadic lifestyle, the members of this faction have developed a unique skill set and knowledge base relating to the taming of wild animals to ease the burdens of travel and the discovery of many well-kept secrets of the Lost Isle. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock the use of travel mounts in the locations of hidden relics. So this is a cool piece because earning reputation with this faction will allow you to, uh, to get mounts and travel faster, so that's obviously a huge quality of life improvement. Um, and also some fun stuff with uh, like some hidden secrets and, and things like that that are scattered throughout the island. So kind of a fun faction. Okay, and then lastly, the Stitcher's Union, cosmetics. The members of this faction are appearance improvement specialists with skills that range from hairstyles and base decorations to finely tailored clothing and dyes. Earning reputation with this faction will unlock player appearance customizations and the ability to craft advanced decorations, cloth armor, and dyes another interesting one just kind of a quality of life improvement as well just being able to change your appearance and make your base look better and things like that so so a cool one so these are the eight existing factions of the lost isle uh just to go over a couple more things uh there's the reputation bar so obviously that's just to track the percentage progress that you've made towards the next tier uh unlocking and then the three different tiers that you'll unlock for increasingly valuable perks so friend allied and companion all right we'll jump back into the devlog Okay, so those were the eight existing factions of the Lost Isle, and we already got into those. The details for the specific tiered perks of each faction are forthcoming. So as you saw when I was in the UI panel, when I hovered over the different tiers, um, nothing happened. Uh, so that's not in there yet. We have all this stuff kind of floating around in limbo, and it, it exists, and we have ideas for everything, but it's not implemented yet. Uh, so that's forthcoming, like it says. But in the meantime, here's a short clip of a minor NPC greeting the weary traveler. So this would be an example, like it mentioned earlier, of a static NPC. So rather than like traveling along the road, this one would just be in a fixed location that you'd come across. It's just a quick greeting as you approach him. A good day, is it? And that's it. A good day, is it? A good day indeed. So some other notable changes. Open world procedurally placed major and minor landmarks or monuments. Uh, so that basically means like, you know, if we have like an empty open world, 
uh, that's just nature, essentially. Uh, procedurally placed major and minor landmarks are things that we've been working on that will go into the open world to make it, you know. So like a castle, for example, would get placed somewhere, or a cemetery would get placed somewhere, or uh, a tower, whatever. So those are, those are examples of major and minor landmarks. So those will get procedurally placed all throughout the world, so every server will be unique. Um, and every server seed will be unique, so it'll just have a whole different arrangement every time you enter a new server of, of all the landmarks and stuff. So that's really cool. This is something that will actually probably be featured in ne next month's devlog, kind of how we did a breakdown here of uh, the, the factions. We'll probably do that next month with uh, the, the landmarks or the monuments. Uh, magic Combat System Rework. This one I'm, ex I'm super excited about because... Uh, well, I just love magic in games. And so <laughs> we've, we've had a few different uh, iterations of magic in the game, and this one is looking really cool. Um, and it's probably the final rework that we're going to do on it and, it, and it's turning out really awesome. So if it's done uh, next month for the devlog, it'll also be featured. Um, it'll kind of be like co-featured. Uh, but if not, probably the month after that. But it, it will get its own feature for sure because it's a really cool system. All right, rain and snow weather manager. So to date, we've just had, you know, night and day. Uh, but now we're starting to have uh, a, a weather manager, so we'll have rain, snow, all that stuff. So that's really cool. Um, and then just general UI rework. So the faction stuff that you just saw, uh, there's a whole research table, um, and then a, a bunch of other stuff. So the UI is kind of constantly getting reworked. Um, but that's it for the, for the February devlog. So just lastly here, stay in the loop. Don't miss out on important updates. Make sure to wishlist Lost Style here on Steam, join our Discord community, and follow us on Next. So we're constantly pushing out uh, content every week. There's more and more stuff that goes out, even if it's just like a little clip or whatever. Um, and so, you know, if you want to stay in the loop for, for updates and progress and stuff like that, just make sure you follow us wherever is most comfortable for you. All right, that's it. That's the end of the February 2024 devlog. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.